you're all probably well aware right now, the Great Barrier Reef is currently in perfect condition. And you're all probably very well aware that vaccines, they cause autism. And you're all probably well aware that climate change is nothing but a hoax. Everyone in this room understands the incredible potential for social media to be used or misused by those in power to convey distorted information to the public. These ideas that the Great Barrier Reef is fine, that climate change is a hoax, that vaccines are not good for you, they're becoming commonplace in the social media world, but more concernedly, they're becoming commonplace with some of our more regressive political and social influentials. So with this information, this misinformation getting around, what do the scientists have to say? Well, scientists, they're busy. They're busy in labs working on cures for cancer, heart disease, blindness. They're busy working out in the field, investigating our changing patterns of our climate and our oceans and our natural resources. They're busy working with communities and industries to develop more efficient and profitable and sustainable technologies. They're busy putting humankind into space, searching for new worlds and looking for intra and interstellar life. They're busy building robots. They're busy designing renewable energy. They're busy changing the face of the world and how we all get to see it. So what does this being busy mean for us? Well, it means, for one, you're not getting your information from experts. Social media, politics, uh, politicians, sorry, and um, social influentials are giving you information such as climate is a hoax, that um, the Great Barrier Reef is fine, and that vaccines are evil. So with all that misinformation getting around, how can you, or how can we, know what's right? How can we know it's accurate? How can we know it's real? Well, I have one solution, potential solution. It's called Click and Quick Science. Click and Quick Science is based on a writing concept used by great authors such as Ernest Hemingway and Anton Chekhov. It shows you and not tells you something. So it's called Show, Don't Tell. Show, Don't Tell gives you information. It shows you information. And it allows you, the audience or the reader, to make a decision based on evidence. Showing means you get to decide for yourself. You can build, we can build a foundation for you to make that evidence-based decision. This here is a video. Well, it's actually a short from a video from our peer-reviewed publication that came out last year. It's documenting coral bleaching and its mechanics for the first time. So it's behavior. How can you know that that's true or accurate or real? Well, simply put, it's showing you. It's not telling you. It shows you the inflation of the tissue it shows you the contractions. It shows you the twitching and the jerking. It shows you temperature stress. It shows you coral bleaching. It shows you the zooxanthellae even being removed from the body. It shows you the evidence. This successful showing has over 6 million views online, including YouTube and Facebook. It has been reported on by over 200 news media outlets globally, including Le Monde in France, Washington Post, National Geographic, News Scientist, Scientific American, PBS, ABC, and The Australian. It has been used in museums here in Australia and overseas in the US. And right now and in the future, it will be a part of documentary and TV series for the ABC, PBS, and BBC. This video, what it does well is it takes complex science, tangible complex science, 
and it places it into an easily digestible language. It's information, it's knowledge, but it's perfect for an online media world. Click and quick science facilitates better science, it facilitates better communication, but importantly, it facilitates us to make better decisions based on evidence. Social media and online news media, they have kept us more connected than ever before. And that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. For one, it allows information like this to function and flourish. It allows it to be effective. But it also gives us an opportunity to call out those people that just want to tell you things. So the next time someone, politician or a celebrity influential, says to you that the Great Barrier Reef is in perfect condition, ask them to show you. And the next time, someone, politician potentially, says that autism is evil, ask them to show you. And the very next time that someone says climate change is nothing but a hoax, demand that they show you. So, what if I told you that the world was flat? <laughs>